Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're heading to Charlie's house to check out his uh, S10. You guys might not know Charlie, but you might know his truck. We featured it on this live stream. But nonetheless, you saw that big explosion. So yeah, there was catastrophic failure. Uh, he's got an S10. It was like basically the maiden voyage. Uh, first time out on the track. I mean, he purposely built this car to run on the street, to run on no prep tracks. So yeah, he's put a lot of work into the vehicle been working on it for almost a year and it's just a bummer that you know first time out he took it out and, and this happened so we're about to get to his house check him out see what uh he's got to say about it okay guys so we finally made it to charlie's garage and we're out here with his s10 which he calls plain jane so charlie what do you got to tell me about the truck and i know that you had some mishaps but let's first talk about what the truck had before the bad news uh, basically, standard drivetrain. It was a LS3 out of an 07 Escalade, so 6.2. I uh, gapped the rings, put bearings in it, put a cam in it, stuff like that. It had a good set of 821 heads with some uh, better valves, good springs, retainers, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, power glide. 8.8 rear end, basic S10 stuff. Kind of like all of them you see on the internet. So that's for the name uh, Plain Jane because it looks like 90% of them that you want to look at on the internet, this thing kind of comes up. Do you, and it had a turbo, right? Or yes. it has a turbo, but well. Yes, yes it does. It has uh, just a S480 force induction from Jose. Awesome. So what ended up happening to the truck? Cause I know we've seen some videos on the internet with the truck driving and then at the track and obviously something went wrong. So what can you tell me about that? Uh, just had it running for a short amount of time, really about two weeks. Decided to kind of get it out to take it to the track just to see how it does. Get a couple baby hits on it and things like that. Everything actually went good the first three times. The first two didn't do very well burnouts because I just didn't want to put it up on the chip right away for the start the data logger and everything. It was yeah. a new process. But uh, it did all right. Baby steps, every safe way there was. And then on the fourth pass, lost oil pressure. The pump kind of decided it was done. And uh, ended up kicking a few rods and multiple pistons out of it and took the cam and took pretty much everything with it. Wow. So you made a few runs on that day, and then on your fourth run, basically that's when all hell broke loose, huh? Yeah, pretty much. It was still a pretty safe tune all the way down, real low boost, low timing, uh, very low AFRs and air inlet temperatures. Yeah, like everything, everything was good. Everything, so everything was safe. So what would you say? All of a sudden, it lost oil pressure. I found out that's what it was, looking at the logs afterwards, but it lost oil pressure, seized the bearing, and then it just kind of locked up and parts started, had to, had to go somewhere. And Would, thank God that I was very thankful that it did not come out under the tires. It actually did not puncture the pan until it was coming to a dead stop. So all the oil was under the truck. Wow. Question, what would you say to these guys that are running these stock short blocks? You know, is it something that, cause I mean, I've never seen one kick a rod and, you know, maybe they have or haven't, but I see a lot of people, even on these races I go to, they're running just a stock short block, you know, with massive amount of boost on a, on a turbo. Yeah, I, it, it's luck of the draw, I guess. I know most people have good luck with them. I think I just got one that, you know, eventually, I don't know if it just, because it lost, I know it lost oil pressure, but it wasn't significant right away. So it didn't even knock, it didn't do anything. It literally just started to seize and then it lost all its pressure and then it locked up. Wow. So what do you got to say as far as what's the what's the future for Plain Jane moving forward right now? Uh, basically same thing like it was. Look for another uh, LS3 somewhere or uh, another six liter or something to put back in it, throw a cam in it and go back at it. Any timetable as far as when you might be back out there? Uh, Three days after I get a motor. Awesome. After I get a block, I would say. Awesome. All right, so one last thing, Charlie. I know that we were almost done with this interview. 
But one thing that I would want to know, and maybe the viewers would like to know, is because I've been looking around the shop, and I really haven't seen where's the engine. Obviously, it's not in here anymore, so and I don't see it anywhere around. You got any of the parts? Did you scrap it? What'd you do with it? Well, I have a bucket of shame over here, I guess, with some of the internal stuff that came out the bottom of it. Which is All right, let's much. see that, because I'm pretty sure a lot of guys have never seen something like this, and it'd be good to show them. Yeah, oh, that's the rod, huh? It's actually in pieces. Everything just shattered. Wow. Wrist pin I've never wow. seen before break long ways. Check this out, guys. Wow. That and is loose shrapnel. That was all like in the oil pan and Yep. And then the windy tray. Wow. You guys seeing that? And Holy it broke smoke. the holly oil pan in three places. Oh man. Yeah, it's still bolted to the bottom of the block though. So what did you do? Did you scrap the block? Because I don't see the block either. No, because I'm kind of stubborn. So I actually kind of like to recycle them, I guess. And this way I can't really say I threw the money away. Really? I make something interesting with them and- Do uh, you mind if we take a look at what that is? No. All right, well, take let's it. go take a look. This is it? It is. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I see you got one behind it too, so it's not your first time, right? No, that's actually the 406 wow. that came out of my shop truck. That is neat, guys. That should be the thumbnail right there, bro. All right, man, so we look forward to seeing you out there in the track and seeing Plain Jane once again back fully functioning and kicking butt. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. We just interviewed Charlie and his S10. His S10 will be back soon enough. Make sure to stay tuned to this channel for more interviews. And always remember to love God, love family, and love racing. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.